I'd rather flee the fucking country. Yes. Justice has been served. Johnny Depp won his defamation suit against Amber Heard. Congratulations to Johnny and his legal team. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. <gasps> As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. Do you find you that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of oh defamation? Answer, no. no. As against John C. Depp II, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $0. Both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have released their statements on their personal Instagram accounts after the verdict. I'm gonna read you Johnny's statement first and then Amber's. Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me, were forever changed, all in the blink of an eye. False, very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond, and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. My decision to pursue this case knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles that I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide into my life was only made after considerable thought. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. I am and have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and and the colossal support and kindness from around the world, I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, who have found themselves in my situation, and that those supporting them never give up. I also hope the position will now return the innocent until proven guilty, both within the courts and in the media. I wish to acknowledge the noble work of the judge, the jurors, the court staff, and the sheriffs who have sacrificed their own time to get to this point and to my diligent and unwavering legal team who did extraordinary job in helping me to share the truth, the best yet to come, and a new chapter has finally begun. He also signed it. That was beautiful. Okay. Now for Amber's statement. Her statement is total BS, just like her op-ed. She said, The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence, you mean the ones you staged, still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I am even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorneys succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issues of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case. Well, no shit. But I'm sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. 
She can lie to herself all she wants and live in denial, whatever helps her sleep at night. But it doesn't change the reality that what she did was not okay. Ruining a man's reputation and life has consequences, Amber.